go to a tertiary market or a secondary market and you go directly to the owner and find us every deal that we have, we're taking it higher than an ACAP. We're taking it like ridiculously high. I just, you know, and they're like all these brokerages. That, that's why working with like a realtor, they just don't understand like secondary and tertiary markets. Like they're just like, the, I just think this, and it's a huge big firm, but I mean, but they were like so ecstatic that you could put this on the market at a six cap and let the, the buyer show the buyer that you could take it to an eight cap. And they were like, they were, and they said, there's hardly any deals like this on the market. And I was just like, this is like the, I, I was just thinking to myself, like every deal I've ever bought is like this. So, and then they also told us as well, too, this is good, this is really good to know, is that everybody right now, everybody, all the bigger players want to buy in secondary and tertiary markets. Like the bigger players are saying, now just, no, just think about this. The, biggers are, the bigger players are saying, I do not, I cannot buy in primary markets because they're oversaturated and it's too expensive. So I'm going to look in secondary and tertiary markets. And and that's what the that's what the um, the brokerage was saying was like even bigger players are like looking in secondary and tertiary markets right now because like but the see but those people the the people that are buying like at that ex, the, at those expenses like so so what I'm saying is that you are the one that is going to talk to the owner and you're going to find awesome deals by talking to the owner and then you're going to you're going to stabilize this property and you're going to increase the rents and get them increased. And then you're going to sell this property to like a bigger player that's interested in these types of deals and make a lot of money on it. And so it's really like flipping storage facilities, you know, gone are the days now where you're buying and holding on to a property for 20, 30, 10, 20, 30 years. I mean, you know, maybe 10 years is okay, but like you can make so much more money by being the person. And this is what I told my student. I was like, you can make so much more money by being an asset manager, being the person that essentially comes in, talks to the owners, gets them to sell at like a good, you know, a good price, stabilizes it, increases the rates, fix it up a little bit, and then sell it to like a bigger player and make lots of money. All right. So that's my little tidbit on that. I was I was shocked. I was shocked that they were telling us that. So um, I was actually really excited. And that's what everybody, like all you guys, I'm telling you, us, this group right here, like you guys are listening to me for that concept. That's the concept. I get that some people want to buy and hold for years. But the truth is, is like nowadays, you can make so much more money by selling those suckers. All right. 